Hello guys and welcome to a new brand video. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to fix this version of Vanguard requires secure boot on Valorant. So now all we need to do is to open first our Riot Games client so we can run our Valorant game. So basically either you can go to your file explorer or you can just go and search for Riot Games and it will take you to the Riot client. So let's search for it. So basically you need just to go to your local C desk or local D, depends where you have been installed your Riot client and then search for uh, the games, in my case I have it here in this uh, here and the Riot games and then just go for the Riot client and then you can open your Riot games client and now we will just wait to open and then you will need just to sign in with your credentials and now all you need to do now is to open your Valorant game and then follow these simple steps. So basically to fix this problem we will need just to change some settings on our computer BIOS. So basically to have an access to the BIOS you can just go and search for uh, the recovery updates and basically here we will find the recovery options and then you can have the advanced startup. So basically on the advanced startup it will take you to the BIOS menu and when you are going to get the BIOS you will find something similar to that so basically the idea is to have our uh, secure boot and uh, our device security here our security processor or the TPM and our secure boot that should be on so basically after going to your BIOS you, you can also just search for in Google how to get uh, the secure boot and the TPM so basically to have the secure boot or the TPM you can just go to the advanced mode here on the BIOS and you will find an option for the TPM to have it after that you will need just to go to the booting and in the boot we will find you will find some options that are uh, the OS or you will find the Wi-Fi mode and uh, the UEFI mode is the secure boot that you are searching. So basically after choosing those uh, choices you will need just to uh, save and exit and after that you will have your computer that will have these options and then you will have your problem that will be fixed. So basically this is how you can do it. Thank you for watching and see you next time.